Hi, hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Melanie. If you'd like to get to know me a little better, all my social media links are usually linked down below. Be sure to check them out if you're interested. As always, Instagram is always the best way to interact with me. I'm the most active there, and you can kind of see what books I'm actually currently reading. I try, I am actually trying at the moment to be a little bit more active on my stories, just to make it a bit more personal. I'm here to tell you about what I'm planning on reading this week. Um, I'm really happy to say that I don't have any blog tours this week. I kind of like, oh, I'm so happy that like, the books that I'm about to read have like no necessary, like no deadlines per se. But these are books that I kind of want to get to right now. Um, there is one that I don't actually have a physical copy of and it's a book that I'm beta reading, which is pretty exciting. I don't do that often. I don't beta read often just because I don't think I know enough about the ins and the outs of what it means to be a beta reader really. But I saw the uh, someone was asking and I was like, eh, I have time. So I am. She's a South African local author. So I'm very excited to read this book. I've read her other book last year and her second one is coming out towards the end of this year, I believe. And then this is the third one, which is still looking at optioning off to publishing houses. It's only about 300 pages long and I'm planning on reading about 50 pages at a go. This book, um, which I also don't actually have a physical copy of, and it's an audiobook because I have now found the right way to listen to audiobooks and that's whilst I'm driving. And the one that I'm listening to this week is going to be The Kiss of Deception. I drive on average about 10 hours a week, which is a lot of driving time, and that's usually how long an audiobook is. I also don't listen to an audiobook at one time speed, I listen to it at a lot faster speed. So I'm hoping to finish The Kiss of Deception this week. I've already started it before the week actually has begun, but yeah, let's hope it goes well. I really enjoyed the book when I originally read it a couple of years ago. I think I read it back in 2017, maybe even before then, perhaps. But I'm really excited to jump back in. I really do want a physical copy of this book. So the first book that I have here is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. This is part of the, it's a part of a trilogy. And I'm really excited to get into it. I love the cover designs for these. There, I know there was a cover change in America, I think, where there's not like a human on the cover. But I'm really excited to get to this one. It is not long. It's only... I would say about 300 pages so i'm really excited to get to it i think it's going to be a really quick read and i've heard great things the next book that i have here is of course breathing water by sr atkinson i've been trying to read this book forever now and the writing in here is actually quite large so i think that this might actually go a lot faster than what i initially anticipated so i'm hoping to start this this week as well let's hope i actually do get to finish it i'm hoping to read this week is the scavenging by javon brown this is a um advanced reader copy of the book but this book is written by a local South African author as well. The next book that I have here is Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. I um, need to actually read this for my course and I have only read a couple pages, but we'll see how it all goes. I'm not particularly a big fan of it so far, so I might not actually even finish it, but I'm still gonna give it a go. It's only like 200, less than 300 pages long. And I'm gonna just read it in parts. I'll finish reading part one and then kind of progress like that. Um, and hopefully I think those will be manageable chunks. And then the last book that I actually have planned to read for this week is A Girl Named Shameless by Laura Steven. Um, I need to do a review for this for Bargain Book. So I figured this week would be the perfect because I have nothing to do or need to get done by it this week. So I just figured it would be the perfect time to read it. There are not particularly like many books in this TBR just because I want this book this week, my bad, to be a little bit more relaxed. I have about two more weeks left of semester, of the semester of, um, of this block actually. And I think I'm gonna try and read a bit more in the week that we have off, but I also wanna study. But anyways, that's, that's for future plans. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. I have a whole lot of videos that I've pre-filmed with the intention of uploading them earlier, but they're they're just getting uploaded now. Um, I hope that you enjoy them. They include like my wrap up, my holes and TBRs and stuff like that. But yeah, I will hopefully see you in the next video. Let me know what you're reading down below and I will see you in the next one.